31, welcome to example four. So let's see what we're given, what we're being asked to solve for here. It says the sum of the first 15 terms of an arithmetic sequence is 345. If a sub 15 equals 65, find a sub one and d. All right, so I gotta find a sub one and d, and those are pretty important pieces of information, whether we're using the sequence formula or the series formula. So it's, I see that I've got an arithmetic sequence, all right, so that's D. When they say sequence, that's a list of numbers, but they are adding me to sum those numbers, right? They're saying the sum of the first 15 terms is 345. So when you see this phrase, the sum of the first 15 terms of a sequence, that is literally referring to S sub 15. That's what that symbol means. Add the first 15 terms of a sequence. And they're telling you flat out that's equal to 345. Okay, I also can spot that n is equal to 15, all right? I know, I guess they're also giving me a sub 15 is equal to 65. Now they want a sub one and d, all right? So there's a few ways you could go about doing this, but let's use those formulas that we just picked up on the previous example that deal with the sums of the arithmetic series, so, or the sums of an arithmetic sequence. So I wanna just, I'm gonna put this over here and I want to remind us the two formulas we have are S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. And then we also had S sub n is equal to n over 2, 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. All right, and let's start to think about what we have and what we need to get. So I know I need to get a sub 1 and I need to get d. All right, I know S sub 15. That's 345, so I could put 345 into either of these equations. I know n, that's 15, all right? I know a sub 15, that's 65. So what I'm missing is a sub one in both of these equations in d. So let me start with the first equation because I know s sub 15, I know n, and I know a sub 15. So I could solve for a sub one that way. So let's go manipulate that first equation. So if I look, we know S sub 15 would be equal to 15 over two times A sub one plus A sub 15. All right, so I'm using this equation right here. I'm plugging in N equaling 15, right? S sub 15 is equal to 15 over two A sub one plus A sub 15. Well, we know three of these four variables. So I know S sub 15 is 345. I know that's equal to 15 over two times a sub one plus 65. And you can see the only thing left for me to solve for right now is a sub one. Well, let me go ahead and divide both sides by 15 halves, or another way of saying that is I'll multiply both sides by two 15. So I wanna get rid of this 15 halves here. When I divide both sides by 15 halves on the left side, I'm gonna write a sub one plus 65. And on the right side, I would have 345 times two out of 15. And let's see what that number would simplify to. So I'm gonna go 345 times two out of 15. We're looking at 46. All right, so I know a sub one plus 65 is equal to 46. And if I subtract 65 from both sides, I've got half of my problem done. There's a sub one it's equal to negative 19. All right, so I found that. That was the first thing they asked me to find. Okay, the next thing they asked me to find was D, and D is hiding out in this second formula, right? So we're gonna now use the second formula to find D. If I wanted to specify, I will use first formula. Oops, it's written a little too close. I was gonna say, I'm gonna use the first formula, or I used the first formula to find a sub one. So let's try this second formula. This would be S sub 15. That would be equal to 15 over two, two A sub ones, plus 15 minus one times a D. 
Okay, let's start filling this in. We know S sub 15 is 345. This is going to stay at 15 over 2. I know A sub 1, I just found it, that's 2 times negative 19. This is going to be 15 minus 1 times D. And then you can see I have my equation and the only variable left is D. So let's, let's start doing this. All right, I'm going to go, we got 345 would be equal to, I'm going to do 15 halves. All right, 2 times negative 19 is negative 38. And this is going to be plus 14D. Now you can distribute the 15 halves to both um, the negative 38 and the 14 if you want. I'm still just going to multiply the 15 or divide both sides by 15 halves, which is like multiplying 345 by 2 fifteenths. And I'm going to do that because I, I happen to already know it's equal to 46. So I will get 46 here equaling negative 38 plus 14D. All right, when I add the 14, I'm sorry, when I add the 38 over, I'm going to get 14D is equal to 84. And when I divide 84 by 14, what are we looking at? I'm going to get 6. Okay. So there we go. D is equal to 6. So my answers are, well, I found A sub 1. It was negative 19. And I found D. It was 6. Okay, so with that, we're going to end our look at arithmetic series. We're going to move on to finite geometric series, and I will see you in a bit. Thanks so much. Bye.